Good morning from Bruges. Um, we are currently, <laughs> me and the leg, um, we're in Bruges because Cameron had an operation. Can you poke your head out? <laughs> and now we're heading back to London. Um, I, keep, I keep getting worried that I'm gonna get pulled over by the police because we're trying to get a coffee and we just got stopped by the police. But yeah, we're about to head back to London because Cameron needs to see a specialist doctor over there. Um, his operation was like, what, three days ago? In my yeah, birthday. Th three, yeah, three days ago on his birthday. Um, I wasn't allowed into the hospital with him or anything because of COVID. So he literally was there by himself. And then he came back the following day. He had to stay the night there. And then, yeah, we've just been sort of resting since. And now we're How heading... have you ever been? I've been your nurse. Normal practice? Yeah, actually not much has changed. Everyone was like, is it really hard? I was like, I literally don't, there's nothing's changed. I'm still just cooking for you and looking after you. Um, but yeah, we are gonna head back to London now, um, which is quite good timing because all the restaurants are opening in like three or four days. So that's really exciting. And oh my God, is that the police? So we're just waiting um, to go through border control at the Eurotunnel, there's a massive queue. So we could be here a while, I think we're gonna miss our train. Is it a train? Euro car tunnel. Um, we've got some sausages. <gasps> oh my God. To keep us full on the journey, some Richmond sausages. And we're also very happy because we got she loves a bit of sausage, yeah. Oh my god, I'm choking. Because we got our planning permission through today, so that's so exciting. Um, it took two months and we finally got it. It's approved. And our builder is starting in, what's well, Friday today, so they're starting on Monday. So I'm really excited about that. Because um, they could have denied it and then we would have had to start all over again. But yeah. Show Got it free. Show them the border. Okay, I'll show you the border. This is the border control. So we just have to queue up here. We have to show them our COVID test results. Um, what else? Our passports. All of that sort of stuff. Just in the Euro Tunnel. You're not allowed to get out of your car. Normally you are. He's in the back watching Desperate Housewives. <laughs> I feel like he's my child or I'm the Uber driver. Uh, but yeah, how crazy that right now I'm underwater. Is that right, Cameron? What? Am I underwater right now? Huh? Am I underwater? Yeah, underwater. Yeah, yeah. right now it's we're- crazy, isn't it? It is, I was just saying, right now we're under the sea. Under the channel. It's, it's kind of scary. Channel, isn't it? Well, it's pretty safe, so. Uh, yeah, but. Um, but yeah, this is it. There's not really much to see, and it only takes half an hour, and then we'll arrive in England, and then the clocks will go back, so we gain an hour. So we are back in London now. Cameron's all set up with his, what's it called, game ready, which is like an ice machine. Got some deliveries from Love Raw. They sent some, these are literally Cameron's favourite thing, and it was his birthday, so they sent some of those, which is so nice. And then this have also sent a, I think it's like a recipe for vegan carbonara which is delicious um so they've got these now i'm just walking to whole foods i've left the patient at home um and i'm gonna get us some food for dinner and just some snacks and bits he sent me out the list he's not demanding at all so just got some doesn't look very nice actually at all some tofu and some veg and i've got these like vegan chicken bite things um and truffle grits hummus and then i got Cameron this drink and I got myself this. It's like a healthy Coca-Cola. So this morning we're gonna go and show my mum our um flat because she hasn't seen it yet. I wanted to show her like the before before all the madness begins. Um so she's on her way to us now and then we're gonna drive over there, show her the new place and yeah, we'll show you my outfit quickly before we go. We're also gonna measure up um because our sofa takes 10 weeks to be made, so the builder said it's going to take about six weeks, but probably will take a little bit longer. So yeah, I'm going to measure up today for our sofa um, and then we'll know 
what size to give to the company we're going with, a company called Navan. Um, I think that's how you say it, Navan. I've seen it a lot on Instagram, that's how I discovered it. A lot of girls have got sofas from there and they like design them from scratch, so I sent them a photo of what I wanted. Um, and they're gonna design the exact one that I sent, which is amazing. So my outfit is from Opoly. It's like a little matching set. I love the little slits in the leggings, which is kind of the reason I got it. And then I got the matching top with the zip. And I've just paired it with my Stella McCartney trainers. Very casual. I'm gonna add a coat because it's still pretty cold outside. cold i think it's like snowing in some parts of england but it's monday and i'm off to get my nails done it's literally like 9 30 in the morning i'm like her first appointment she managed to squeeze me in i'm so happy i'm gonna get these bad boys done i'm gonna get a french money and then we haven't got any restaurants or anything booked for today or any like outdoor areas which is probably a good thing because i would probably freeze to death um, but I think we're going to try and go somewhere. No, we've booked somewhere for tomorrow, uh, like a little wine bar. And then we're going to try and go to Mildred's, which is our favourite ever restaurant. Yeah, I'll film a little bit of my manicure and I'll show you the uh, end of the result. On our way to Mildred's in Soho. Um, they don't accept bookings, but we're just going to turn up and hopefully get a table. And yeah, I'm so excited because we haven't had it in so long. Got our favourite little lychee martinis. Cheers. Happy? So we're just out for some brunch at Bridge Baker. Now that everything is opened up, got our matching trainers on. I'm going to show you those. So busy, sun's out, delicious avocado toast, and we got it in quite white as well. Ready. Um, we are heading out this afternoon, early eve. Um, we're going for dinner with Cameron's sister and his mum, so that'll be really nice. We're going to Aragon House. Neither of them have actually been before for food, so that'll be really nice to show them. Um, and yes, yeah, in the garden. We've already been there this week, and they give you like hot water bottles and blankets, which is so nice because a few places we've been this week for dinner and stuff, it's just been so cold. There's no heaters, there's no hot water bottles, and it's like it really ruins it. Um, so yeah, I know that will be warm tonight. Uh, spray some of my perfume. I'm literally obsessed with this one that um, Nicola Hughes sent me. Uh, I think her family work with the brand. It's Judith, I don't know how you pronounce it, Judith Lieber. And it's, um, I think an Irish, I could be making that up, but it's really, really nice. And it's like one that you can just spray and sort of, yeah, it lasts a long time. It's really, really nice. And then I'm also wearing this necklace, which I just got today. Um, so this is from a brand called Vinti Drop um, and they contacted me on Instagram and it's basically like reworked Chanel, like I think it's like Chanel brooches and things and they make them into like necklaces um, and earrings and they got this one which they kindly gifted me, a little choker, um, which I really, really like. It's super pretty. So yeah, so I'm going to wear that tonight and I will show you my outfit before we head out. This is my outfit. I've just got a white body and some jeans and trainers. I was going to wear heels, but I've kind of decided against it. And then this black blazer, which is from Zara, and my bag from 365. Ready to go. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you've all had a really nice time of everything reopening and done some nice dinners and seen some friends and just felt a bit more normal. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.